This video is an introduction to the 9th edition of MLA Citation Style. We will focus on in-text citations. In-text citations are found in the body of your paper. Anytime you include information from a source, you need to include an in-text citation. MLA in-text citations include the author's last name and the page number, if available. There are two ways to use in-text citations. The first way is to put the citation at the end of the sentence, where the whole citation is in parentheses. In this case, you write a statement that includes information from a source, then you include your in-text citation. This is an open parenthesis, the author's last name, the page number, a closed parenthesis, and a period to end the sentence. Note that the period is after the citation, so the citation is considered to be part of the sentence. If the source you are using does not have a page number, such as a website or video, then you don't need to include a page number. The second way to write your in-text citations is to include it within your sentence instead of at the end. In this case, you would write the author's name within the sentence and put the page number in parentheses at the end of the sentence before the period. There are also differences for how to list authors depending on the amount of authors. If the material you are citing has two authors, you need to include both authors' last names and the word end in between them, and then include the page number. If the material you are citing has three or more authors, only list the first author's name, then include the words et al, period, and the page number. Et al is a Latin phrase that means and others, and it replaces the other author's names. The resource you are citing might not have an individual person listed as an author. If the source has a corporate author, use the name of the corporation followed by the page number in the citation. If there is no known author, use a shortened title of the work instead of an author name. Put the title in quotation marks if it's a short work such as an article, or italicize it if it's a longer work such as a book, play, or TV show, and provide the page number if available. Your in-text citations must correspond to a citation in your works cited page at the end of your paper. The in-text citations provide a small amount of information about the source, but the works cited page is where the full citations are listed and those contain more details. The first item that is listed in your in-text citation, the author or title, must be the first item that appears in the full citation in your works cited page. For more details on creating citations, see the list of resources in the video description. Please don't hesitate to contact the library for additional assistance.